It was always going to be a busy summer for Manchester United. We needed a new centre-back, a new right-back, a new central midfielder, arguably two central midfielders, a new right-winger. Solskjaer was always going to be busy. So when the likes of Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku started angling for moves away from the club, it would have taken Solskjaer by surprise. So maybe this summer is going to be even busier than we all thought, because not only do we have to make new signings, we might have to replace some key players in the first team as well. And I want to talk through a couple of those possibilities in today's video. Now, before we begin, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell as well. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. And let's get straight into this one. The focus of today's video is going to be Romelu Lukaku. I haven't really said much about the developing transfer, but now that it's kicking into the next gear, I want to talk about it. And for a player, Lukaku, who said he's trying to be respectful of Manchester United, he sure has said a lot of things. He's already said it's his dream to play in Serie A. He's called Antonio Conte the best manager in the world. And he's done everything he possibly could do without saying, I want to leave. But luckily for Lukaku, he doesn't have to say that because his agent has. His agent confirmed that Inter wanted to sign him and he said, yes, Inter are trying to sign Lukaku. And Romelu has expressed his wishes to leave Manchester United. And not only has his agent been talking and Lukaku's been talking, so has Roberto Martinez, the Belgian manager. He's piped in and said, if there's a new challenge that's elsewhere and United and Lukaku can agree, then Lukaku should be moving on. So for a player who said he wouldn't be discussing it much, Lukaku and his agent and Martinez have sure said a lot of things about Lukaku leaving this summer and joining Inter Milan. Lukaku really is doing everything here within his power to force a move away from United. And I suppose it's another exertion of player power, which really won't come to too much of a surprise to any United fan. But it's not just United that this happens to. If a player wants to leave a club, he'll try and actively force a move away. That's what Lukaku's doing. So if he does want to move away, I suppose it can't come as too much of a surprise. It's just I don't think many of us expected if Lukaku was to leave United for it to happen this summer. My thoughts on this situation is that if we can sell Lukaku and we can replace him, absolutely go and do it. I've never thought that Lukaku was a completely United striker. I think that when he was at his prime at United under Mourinho, we geared our football towards him to the detriment of the actual style of football, but it got the most out of Lukaku. But he's never really suited it, not for me. He's not active enough as a striker. He's very much a great goal scorer, but not a great footballer. And I think he'd be fantastic in Serie A and for Inter Milan, so they'd be happy to sign him, and I think we'd be happy to sell him if we could replace him. That's the big question, whether we could replace him. Mason Greenwood will come through and get some opportunities next year, but you can't expect him to come in and score 20 in his first season. You'd expect Rashford to step up, Martial to step up, and maybe a replacement to come in for Lukaku as well. But can United make this transfer happen? Because it's clear that Inter Milan want him. It's clear that Lukaku wants Inter Milan. It's whether or not United can agree a deal with Inter. And I suppose that's where it gets complicated. First and foremost... Lukaku's price. We paid 75 million upwards for him. Inter Milan wouldn't want to pay that to sign Lukaku. They want it cheaper and I don't think United will budge too much on the price. And then there's Lukaku's wages. He'd have to take a big pay cut to go to Inter Milan and Inter Milan would still have to offer him a substantial amount of money. Would that happen? And thirdly, it looks like Mauro Riccardi needs to be leaving Inter Milan before any deal for Lukaku can happen. But Antonio Conte wants Lukaku. He's come in as a new manager and he's identified Lukaku as the first and as the major signing that he wants to make this summer. Maybe not the first, but the major one. So United holds some power here. And I suppose the question then goes, you know, if United can't make it happen in terms of we can't agree on a price, maybe could we see a player swap be involved in this deal? Now, this has been banded around all summer. And it's something I haven't really talked too much about, but with Lukaku really pushing for it and his agent pushing for it now and he's now in Italy to talk to Inter I thought I'd discuss it in a bit more detail and if you're looking at a player swap maybe player plus cash there's three names that I think you would probably discuss and I wanted to say my own opinion on them and I want to know what you think about them as well now first up is Mauro Icardi he's the striker who will probably have to leave Inter Milan if Lukaku was to come in now you already know my thoughts on Icardi when I spoke about him earlier this summer Icardi a great goal scorer again, but a man who's renowned just as much for his off-the-pitch antics and run-ins as he is for his goal-scoring exploits. Now, I don't think that's the sort of character that Solskjaer wants to bring into this dressing room. He's going for Dan James, he's going for Aaron Wan-Bissaka, younger players who are hungry and have a desire to, 
to better themselves in the game, not a player like Icardi who probably feels he's at the peak of his powers. I'm not sure that's the personality and the character that Solskjaer wants to bring in. So for me, no to Icardi. So who else? Maybe Marcelo Brozovic, the 26-year-old Croatian midfielder, was part of that World Cup midfield, which was hailed as the best midfielder at the World Cup with Rakitic and Modric, a holding midfielder, a more traditional holding midfielder. Really no-nonsense style player. And he's a million, million, he's a million times better than Nemanja Matic, and that's a given. And Man United, you know, you see in Don Bellio, who apparently is going to be joining Spurs now. We haven't been linked to too many defensive midfielders, so maybe we can get two birds with one stone here. Lukaku going in the opposite direction, and Brozovic coming in with cash. Maybe that could be a solution to midfield problems. Let me know what you think about that. But of all the players at Inter Milan, there's one that I would love to see United push hard for, and that's Milan Skriniar. And yes, he has signed a new deal, and yes, it's probably unlikely he's going to leave. But fuck it. United should go in hard for Skriniar. The 24-year-old is a top draw centre-back. Absolutely top class. Could be the leader that we need alongside Lindelof, alongside Tuanzebe or Smalling or whoever plays at centre-back for United next season. He could be that player. And Inter don't want to sell him. Absolutely not. But we don't want to sell Paul Pogba. Maybe he still will be joining Juventus. United need to push hard for Skriniar, as far as I'm concerned. Remember last year with Ivan Perisic, we tried to sign him. Inter stood firm on their price and we got priced out and we didn't sign Perisic. United should be doing the same this summer with Lukaku. Inter, if you want Lukaku, we want Skriniar. You don't want to sell him? Doesn't matter. We don't want to sell Lukaku then. I think United should play hardball with this one. Maybe we're not clever enough in negotiations. Maybe that Matt Judge and Ed Woodbury can't make that happen. But Skriniar coming the other direction would be an incredible deal for United. I don't think Inter would let it happen, but if they really do want Lukaku and Conte really desperately wants Lukaku, maybe they would. So I think we should test those waters. But out of the three there, Brozovic, Skriniar and Icardi, there's only one standout player that I would take and that is Skriniar. That being said, I'd take Brozovic as well, but you're reaching the point now as a United fan where pretty much every player looks like he'd improve the club. Probably because he would. So Lukaku is desperate to join Inter Milan. He's doing everything possible he can to force a move. Antonio Conte is desperate to sign Lukaku for Inter Milan. Now Solskjaer, I don't think, would have been expecting to sell Lukaku this summer. I think if he was to leave, I think Solskjaer would have been planning to replace him next summer. And maybe it's going to be a bit of a surprise and Lukaku will leave. But why not make it a double surprise? Why not bring Skriniar or Brozovic in the opposite direction? United are in a position of power here with a player with a decent contract who's worth a lot of money that Inter Milan are desperate for. We shouldn't just bend over, reduce the fee and give in to what they want. We should play hardball. And I'd like to see us go for Skriniar. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Maybe it won't happen. It probably won't. But stranger things genuinely have happened in football. And if Inter really desperately do want Lukaku, we should push for Skriniar. That's my own opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, though, take it easy.